Hello guys, this is Jesse from the Tyree ZTT YouTube channel. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, the first of a series of upgrade and repair on laptop videos. I figured I would start out with the simplest of things. It'll be just a basic RAM upgrade. This particular model of Toshiba satellite uh, came out with one gig of RAM. What we're going to do is throw an extra gig in it. First thing we want to do is flip it over. Be real gentle with it. I always use a mat to keep from scratching the face of it up. And what we want to do is remove all power. If you've got it plugged in, unplug it. Uh, right here we're going to slide this over. That unlocks the battery. That unlocks the other side. Remove the battery. Set it to the side. That way there's no power going to the RAM. Um, next, and I'll show a picture in the video close up. Uh, most computers on the bottom, if they have a dedicated RAM slot, or they've got a dedicated RAM cover, they'll actually have just a little bitty picture of a microchip or memory. It uh, kind of looks like a little EEPROM. And what you want to do is get the cover next to it, which will be this one. Get the correct tool. I'll just remove that screw. Most of the time they've got one to two screws. And that's loose. Then we'll pry it up. They usually snap in, so it's snap loose. Lay it to the side. As you can see, and this happens a lot in these, sometimes uh, the Wi-Fi card actually has its own dedicated slot, but in this one it's actually built in with the memory, although it's not marked on the outside cover. So if you ever have any issues with your wireless card, right here it is with your, your antenna wires running to it. Okay, what we want to look at now is this one gig slot. You notice it does have two. And this particular memory is on the top slot. So we want to add one below it, so we have to remove this one. What we're going to do is drop it down a slot. So what we actually want to do is on each side of the RAM next to the notch, you'll see a little metal plate. You want to barely pull them to the side until the RAM flips up, like so. Pull the RAM straight back. What we want to do next is flip it over. I've got quite a bit of RAM laying around. We want to match it up as far as this is a one gigabyte. It doesn't matter necessarily about the, the brand of the RAM. But this is one gigabyte and it's uh, 50, PC2 5300. Here's a stick I've got of um, PC2 5300. So this right here, this will match. You know, you've got uh, different types, but you just want to match the speeds on those. Okay, so what we're going to do is take one of the sticks of RAM, place it in the bottom spot really carefully. What you want to do is push it all the way in until all the little gold traces are just about even with this cover. As close as you can get it, you want it to be even. You don't want so much sticking out here and then twice as much sticking out on this side. That means you don't have it in right. So once you do that, press it down until it clicks. Like so. Now we have the first stick in. Take the second one, just like that one. Excuse me. You want to line this little notch up. There's a little notch on the inside of this here. You want to line it up with it. Push it in. You want to push down until it snaps again. And that's actually pretty much it. You just, that is it as far as um, the RAM goes. Put your cover back in. You'll notice a lot of times with newer laptops, these little snaps that are in here, they're really easy to break, so be careful and they actually go under the lip on each side here. The easiest way to do it that I've noticed is if you can take your thumb and hold up on one side and push in, that'll actually push that cover underneath there. You see how easy that was? Which on this side, it's a little bit different. If you can push in here, lift up on the middle, see how that snapped in very easy. A lot of times that's a nightmare and you wind up breaking them. But I do laptop repair for a living, so I've done thousands of laptops, so it kind of comes easy. At any rate, let's get that part of the RAM back over. I'm going to take our battery, carefully put it back in. I'm going to lock it back down so if this accidentally gets hit, it doesn't fall back out. Uh, when you turn this back on, it may ask at the very beginning, it'll tell you that your system memory has changed, ask you if, you, if that's okay. Uh, most of the time you can press enter. 
or F2 to go into BIOS. Just make sure everything looks okay and that it is registering the extra memory that you did put in it. Okay, next is a, a laptop I've got laying around I use in the office quite a bit. It's a, a newer Acer. What I want to show you on this one that's a little bit different is it's got a much larger cover on the bottom. If you notice, this one has the memory sign and it also has a disk. And what that disk means is literally your hard disk cover. So what we want to do is take these out. This is an Acer Aspire, by the way. It's a 5336 model number. Always use the little plastic electronic pry bars to keep from scarring the metal. It's more gentle. Okay, what you have in this one, the same type of setup. You've got the hard drive here. When you take that cover out, that's the two screws that hold in the hard drive caddy. This one, if you notice, has got clear plastic on it, but if you flip that centerpiece up, there's your little flap to pull the hard drive. Okay, uh, also you're going to have your wireless card in the middle. And then right here, you see this uh, laptop has four gigs of RAM. Both of them are right here side by side, so there's really no need to upgrade this one right now. I don't have anything in the office higher than that, but just wanted to give you an idea of, um, of what a different one was.